A doctor explains why photos of King Charles III's fingers show redness and swelling, and what this could mean for his long-term health. Welcome viewers to my channel, please subscribe, like my video and turn on notifications so you don't miss our next update. A doctor has revealed the possible health conditions the new King Charles III may be suffering from after royal fans noticed his swollen fingers. The new king could be suffering from edema from old age or even arthritis, and Dr. Gareth Nye has shared a number of possible explanations for the swelling. However, it's unlikely that any of the reasons should concern the public. Friday's death of the king's 96-year-old mother revealed Her Majesty's failing health, with the queen becoming increasingly tired as she got older. However, since Queen Elizabeth II's death, pictures of her 73-year-old heir and his red and swollen hands have been shared on social media. The current king has had swollen fingers for a long time. In 2012, while on tour in Australia after a long flight, he joked about calling them his sausage fingers. Since then, a British doctor has explained that the swelling could be caused by a number of conditions, water retention, or, most likely, just old age. Dr. Gareth Nye told the Daily Star, edema is a condition where the body starts to retain fluids in the limbs, usually the legs and ankles but also in the fingers, which causes them to swell. To check whether this is the reason, squeezing the enlarged region for around 15 seconds would cause a downturn nearby. Because progesterone, a female hormone, is more likely to cause edema in women than in men, it can leave some women with puffy ankles just before their period. Lord Charles has been envisioned with enlarged hands and feet commonly, observably after significant stretches spent flying or heading out to hot nations. Dr. Gareth Nye, a senior lecturer at the University of Chester in the United Kingdom, stated that King Charles III's swollen fingers could be the result of a number of painful health conditions. Fingers usually become stiff, painful, and swollen, and although medication can help with the pain, the swelling can remain, he said. Different causes could be a high salt eating routine or explicit drugs like those made for hypertension. On Friday a specialist highlighted the sovereign's fragile appearance at her last imperial arrangement as a sign that she was approaching the last days of her life. A high-sodium diet or specific medications, such as those designed to treat high blood pressure, could be the culprits if none of these apply to the royal. Sophie's remorse after remorse. After bidding an emotional farewell to Duke of Edinburgh last year and 17 years after the death of her own mother, the tearful Countess of Wessex mourns the Queen, whom she called, Mama. Queen Consort Camilla is every bit the supportive wife as she joins King Charles III to greet Realm High Commissioners at a Buckingham Palace reception. Sisters-in-law and in grief. Sophie Wessex solaces lamenting Princess Anne as they watch the Sovereign's casket showing up in Edinburgh to rest in the royal chamber of the castle of Holyrood House, after Princess Imperial accompanied funeral car from Balmoral. Dr. Deb Cohen-Jones, who lives in Perth, Western Australia, expressed photographs of Sovereign Elizabeth II's swollen hands as she presented close by the UK's new top state leader Liz support at Balmoral Palace in Scotland on Tuesday was perhaps an indication of declining well-being. It appears as though there may be evidence of peripheral vascular disease. She explained to FEMAIL that it is a blood circulation disorder in which the blood vessels outside of the heart and brain narrow, block, or spasm. It can occasionally lead to heart failure. Assuming your fringe dissemination is that poor, organs aren't getting a decent blood supply. It may indicate multi-organ failure.